The best way to get leads is through your website. No, 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 it's from Google ads. No, it's from social media ads. It's from Facebook. No, it's from TikTok ads. No, it's from doing SEO. No, it's from Google Maps. No, it's from paying Home Advisor or Angie's or House or any of these other 15 different companies that are calling you every single day trying to sell you more leads. What is the best path? What is the best route to take when it comes to getting more leads? The very first thing that we need to get out of the way is that you don't need more leads. Sounds crazy. I know you click out a video, you want to know about more leads. You want booked appointments. You want in home estimates. You want qualified prospects that you can go to their house. You can speak with them. You actually have an opportunity to sell. If you've ever worked with these lead companies, you know that what you're getting is a name, an email, and a phone number. And then when you call them, when you reach out to them, it feels like you are literally cold calling a prospect. That's not how you want to grow your business. Look, the very first thing that you need to do is to actually have a real brand, right? Actually have a business that people can Google, they can see some reviews, they see your past customers, they see your past projects and they actually look really good. And not just that because that's not enough anymore. These prospects, they actually wanna know who they're doing business with. Same way as you, right? You've probably done handshake deals. You wanna know who you're dealing with. And so what you can do is go on your website, you can film videos add some photos of yourself. I guarantee you none of your competitors are doing this. Go look at their websites and very, very few, only the top guys are doing this because they know that you have to build a person to person connection, even if it's virtual, even if it's on the computer, even if it's on your website, it's extremely important. As the founder of moreestimates.com, we work with construction companies and home service companies all across the US. And so I have a lot of back end data on what's working and what's not working. This is one account right here. And I can see where the leads are coming from, right? B and I like networking groups. We're talking about chat widgets. We're talking about Facebook ads and social media platforms. We're even gonna talk about website forms and even Uber. If you're wondering how we get leads on Uber, it's the answer is we are not. This client was just a savage and he closed his Uber driver. What we'll also do is dive into some of our campaigns that we have and you'll be able to see what we're paying per lead and how many of those leads we're turning into appointments that actually show. On top of that, I'll even show you certain text messages that we send to our leads to get them to book more appointments. So first things first, let's actually take a look at some of these ad campaigns. I'm gonna go ahead and refresh this so you can actually see that this is live. So let's actually take a look at the results. This top ad right here, when I hover over it, you'll see the metrics that we have, right? Website leads that came in. You can see appointments that are scheduled. And to the right, it says our cost per result. This is our cost per lead. And I'm gonna show you what we consider a lead as well. It's not a name, email, and phone. You'll see $27 per lead, this many impressions, this much reach. And these are people that are coming in on cold traffic, right? We are running this on Facebook and Instagram. Now, what do we consider a lead? We collect name, we collect email, we collect phone number, we collect their address, then we collect what service they want completed, and then we also ask for the timeline of their project, meaning how soon do they want to get started, and we have a drop down and a bunch of options so we can see how serious they are and how seriously you should be taking these prospects. Now, after they submit that survey, so we actually don't even like collecting these like lead forms. I like sending people to a full survey so we know that they are qualified and we are spending $30 to get one of those leads. Now, after they come in from Facebook and they felt that survey, they book in a phone call consultation. The reason we do a phone call consultation is because I want to avoid playing phone tag. I know you've been there where a lead calls you, then you call them back, they, they don't answer, so they call you back, and you call that, you're just stuck in this loop, okay? Let's get rid of that. 
Lead comes in, they pick a time, they choose 4 p.m., 12.30, yes, they hit next, they fill out a little bit of information, and then they get booked on your calendar. So instead of you waking up to leads in your inbox, you look at your calendar on your phone, and you notice you have a bunch of phone call consultations. This is much better, it's more organized, and the lead is expecting your phone call. So they end up showing up way more, right? And then from this, you can book in-home estimates. You've already spoken to them. They already know, like, and trust you. Now look, Facebook is just one avenue. You can, of course, rely on different streams, right? We have SEO. You can do newspaper ads. You can do TV commercials, radio commercials. You can even have referral networks, which does work also extremely well. We have our one client that I was just mentioning to you join BNI, which is a group. I think it's like a couple hundred dollars a year. And if you look at the revenue he's generated, you can see here, it's over half a million dollars just from that group. So if you're just starting, maybe it's worth going in and joining this group. However, everything that you do does need to lead back to your Google My Business, does need to lead back to your website so you can look legit. Imagine you go to one of these meetings, you meet someone, you have a great conversation, but then they go home, they Google you, they can't find you, and even though you've been in business for 10 years, they all of a sudden don't trust you. That is why it's important to run a campaign like this, filter your reviews a little bit, and only select and only the ones that choose five stars push them to Google. All right, so I hope you are enjoying this video. Look, I don't see anyone else out here giving away the whole farm like we are showing you everything A to Z, how we get the leads, how we generate them, the lead quality, how many of them are closing, the appointments that we're booking, everything A to Z. We work with one company per area. What that means is that if you're seeing this, chances are others are seeing it as well. So what you can do is take a look at the link down below this video. It's moreestimates.com and see if your area is still available. If you would like to work together one-on-one, -on -one. I am the owner of the company. When's the last time you spoke to the owner of one of these big lead companies? Probably never. So go ahead and see if your area is available, even if it's not. And even if we work with an industry in your specific area, I still might be able to help give you some consulting and just help for free and give you some advice on what you can do to move forward to actually land more projects and land more jobs. I work with companies all across the US. We have tons of case studies. 10, 12 appointments a month and make three or four of those sales that average 25 to 35,000. It makes sense to do it. We've already mm -hmm. sold two or three jobs from, from the lead source. That's amazing. That's awesome. The crazy thing about this too, is that, I mean, this is literally like the first 30 days of us working oh, together. Yeah, no, completely agree. Tons of testimonials from people landing tons of projects from online advertising from their leads that we help them generate. We also have a full software that helps home service companies like yours close more projects, follow up faster, get more Google reviews, websites, all that stuff. So check out that link down below, moreestimates.com. And sometimes what we're actually able to do is even give free trials. So you can try it before paying anything and see how well it works for you. So in the beginning, these referral groups are absolutely amazing. And once you're ready to actually scale, and as you can see, this is all for full kitchen remodels, full bathroom remodels. So these are not low end projects where we're fixing a sink. No, these are high end construction projects where we are renovating a part of their home. We've done this for basement remodels and all that stuff as well. And with Facebook, it is much more scalable. Google is also quite expensive, but it absolutely works. SEO, Google local service has, I'm sure you've heard of all of these things, but when you have a survey, it really filters the leads better and you can get more leads plus higher quality leads. Now, great. What do we do after a lead comes in from a survey or from a different platform, from a website, maybe from some landing page that we have online? Always, always, always what we do is we automatically text them. At the end of the day, the faster you can respond to your leads, the more you're gonna close, the more money you will actually make. A lot of the money is also in the follow-up. They might respond to you or they might not respond to you. Less than 10% of the leads that reach out to you are ready to move forward right there on the spot and move forward with a sale, especially 
if it's so high ticket, right? They're spending thousands and thousands of dollars. And sometimes it's not an immediate decision that they can just make on the spot. So we want to follow up with them. And you don't have to manually do this because we have AI tools. As you can see here, we can select between SMS and email and automatically follow up with them. If they book an initial phone call consultation, you can send these messages. If they didn't book, you can send these messages that gets them to book in again. As you can see, this person didn't respond to us the very first time that we texted them. That's fine. We sent them the calendar link. Now it says, hey again, Karen, we're still holding your spot. So I want to make sure your application doesn't fall through the cracks. They didn't respond. Again, that's fine. Karen, is everything okay? You reached out, wanted an in-home design consultation. We've been holding your spot, haven't heard anything from you. So we keep following up. And if they don't respond, whatever, we just let them go, right? But imagine if someone did respond and maybe they fell through the cracks before you book the estimate, right? Maybe they reschedule, whatever things happen, or maybe it's even after the estimate. Imagine if you can automatically follow up with them afterwards for a month, for two months, for six months later, and just nothing sales, just a quick check-in. Hey, Susie, it's been so long. It's been six months since we chatted. Susie, it's been three months since we chatted. I hope you're doing amazing. How is everything, right? If you could automate this, would you make less sales or more sales? Obviously, the answer is more sales. And this is how you ultimately end up getting more leads. You build your reputation, you look like a real company, you maybe even have some videos, and then you just automatically follow up with the people that are interested. Now, of course, you can run campaigns and you can pour gasoline on the fire, which is like Facebook ads or Instagram ads or Google and pay to play. But a lot of this is also playing the long-term game, right? Playing that six month game that 12 month game and not expecting immediate results where as soon as we turn something on, we want it to work immediately. You wanna double your business in the next two months. A lot of times it just doesn't work that way if you don't have strong foundations in place. You need to be thinking about how you can take over your local market. And even if it's just a suburb, you don't have to take over the whole city, you can absolutely crush it, but it's all gonna start with your online reputation. It's gonna start with your reviews. Where are you listed online? It's going to start with how you look. The guy that's been in business for 30 years, but doesn't have a website, sometimes people don't know about him and they don't care that he's been in business for 30 years because he has a three-star rating and they would rather move forward with you. You wanna be the guy that cares about his reputation, looks at his reviews, automatically sends Google review requests so you never have to think about it, right? Let's say that this person closed Karen. They closed the project. You can add a tag right here that says job complete and it'll automatically send them a link right to this funnel, this page to leave that review and then it'll automatically filter it. This is extremely powerful. You don't have to do a lot of this stuff manually anymore. We can automate everything. There's so many contractors that are just stuck in this lead purchasing rat race. And that's what it is, right? You're always paying to play. I have clients that have freaking hundreds of calls every single month and all we're doing is just getting them organically from Google and it's an SEO play, which is also longer term, but it absolutely can work and does work if done correctly. At the very least, focus on building your online reputation and you won't go wrong. Just appear like a trusted company and everything will start to fall into place. Naturally, your SEO is gonna be better, you're gonna get more reviews. Now your website can become more persuasive because you're featuring those reviews. You don't need fancy language and text. People just wanna see that they can trust you, that's all. Focus on that, and then once you're ready to actually get more leads using something like Facebook or Instagram or Google, you can certainly run that.